Hello, you Mayhem Makers. I'm Mindy with Quilting Mayhem, and today I'm going to show you how to make our Shop Hop 2024 block. Isn't this cute? We kept it fairly simple, so if you are a beginner, this should not be too hard for you. And it was a great way to showcase this fun fabric. And keep in mind, these fabrics are just for the Shop Hop, and once they're gone, they're gone. So uh, we do have kits available in the shop, and we have yardage in the shop uh, until it's all sold out. So. If you want to participate and want to get on that it's two simple blocks for this you're going to do a square and a square and flying geese so just lots of flying geese around and this cute little square in the square and that's all we're doing so to start with I'll show you how to do the square and a square so you start with a simple square and look how cute this is it's got all kinds of words of you know uh, cities plants, all kinds of stuff that represent Washington. And then we have four little squares with a diagonal line drawn on the back. And what we're going to do is place them right sides together, start in any corner you want, doesn't really matter. Line up these edges and you're going to sew on that drawn line. And I always start by doing the opposing sides first. So I'm really going to sew this side and this side first trim it and press it. So I'm going to go to my machine and do that real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so it is just sewn straight on that line and we're going to trim it. I'm going to switch you over here so you can see how I trim it. I am for all these blocks because they're smaller and a little more uh, easy to manipulate. I'm using my simple folded corners ruler. I love this and I'm going to show you why and it's just going to make it easy to trim that quarter inch seam allowance. So let me switch my camera around. All right, so we have the block, we have that drawn line, and what's nice about this ruler, let's see if I can get it close enough for you to see, is it does have that quarter inch seam allowance marking on there. So I'm gonna lay this diagonal line on the stitch line. Maybe I'll see if I can get you guys even closer. There we go and then trim and then I'm just going to flip it or if you have a rotating mat it makes it even easier you just spin your mat same thing this quarter inch line in here you can even line it up so if you wanted you could have this straight this lines up on that seam on the seam that I sewed and you just trim it and then I'm going to press it and we're going to repeat the process on the opposing corner. So then I'm going to lay that square on there and line it up. Sew on that line and then this square on here. Sew on that line. Sew, press, and we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, so the, that is how it turned out. And look how cute I got Camino Island and Rhododendron all to fit in there. That took some magic. Um, and just so you know, I am using uh, this, we just got this in, I love this, uh, Magic Starch Spray. So this definitely, for these smaller pieces, makes it nice and crisp. Now generally, you see me use Best Press or Flatter as my starch, or a combo. Usually I use a combo of the two in uh, my Quilting Mayhem spray bottle. But for this project, these small pieces, I like this extra stiffness that uh, the Magic Spray gives. And it, it'll, it'll all wash out when it's done. It just, as you're trying to work with these smaller pieces, it helps keep it from slipping, moving, all that kind of stuff. Because you also have all these flying geese that you're going to make. You're going to make a lot of these. And so I definitely recommend some sort of starch spray just to make the pieces easier to work with. So flying geese, not hard. I am not doing any magic methods. I do this as we call a waste method. This is the one that I find is the most successful and the most traditional. So I generally teach that one for most of my stuff just because if you're a beginner, it's a good one to learn. And you start out with your rectangle that is the inside of the geese. And then you're going to have two squares per geese. Once again, diagonal line drawn on the back. And you're just going to start and you're going to put right sides together. sew on that line. And then you're going to cut it and press it just like you did the square in the square so that it will look like this. 
and then you're going to take your other square make sure your diagonal line is going the correct way so you want to make sure your diagonal is starting in the middle going outside for both of those geese right and that's what look like when it's sewn on there so once again you're just sewing on those lines and then you trim and press and you get a flying geese so you're going to do a lot of those because there's I think 12 in here so and so you just keep repeating that until you have all the geese that you need and then what you're going to start doing is taking your geese and I started sewing them in pairs so I made them in sets of two because I needed six per side so on this side there are six on the top side there are six what will happen is you'll have two matching sets that will look like this one of them you will sew this block to the top the other set you're going to sew to the side of the block so i'm going to finish up these geese and we'll lay it out show you what it looks like before we do the final sewing so you understand what we're really doing and the important thing is going to be remember if you're doing any fussy cutting or words are showing the way you want when you go to lay this out you want to make sure they're facing the right way before you sew everything together so i'm going to go get caught up and we'll show you how to do it all right so as you can see we have our main we have our geese and we have our square and a square so decide how you want that to look and then you're going to sew one side to the geese and i would pin top and bottom to make sure they stay straight and then you're going to sew this unit together and then sew it onto the top and that's what's going to get you the block. Now remember to get this pattern you do have to come into the store in person to get your free copy between June 17th and June 30th during Shop Hop of 2024 if you're watching this later uh, and then after the fact we will have them for sale um, or if you buy kits they do come in the kit and you will get that when the Shop Hop is over just to make it fair for everybody but I think it's super cute. Make sure you check out uh, the Western Washington Shop Hop. There's a lot of lovely blocks uh, that have been created by all our local quilt shops that we want to support. So make sure you're visiting as many as you can during our Shop Hop because uh, that's what helps keep us all uh, around. All the small businesses appreciate all your support. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can email at info at Quilting Mayhem or through uh, our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, we do it all. Make sure you're following us, liking us, sharing us on any of those channels, including YouTube, um, so that we can be here for you as long as we hopefully can. So enjoy the shop pop. I hope you enjoyed the blog. Have a lovely day. Keep on stitching.